All right, this is the chart of ROX. Uh, I wanted to show a weekly view. Someone mentioned to me all oh, that they say the weekly. Well, basically, uh, I, what I have here is not like what most people have, uh, and that's why you want to follow me for more great advice. But anyways, I have my what are called uh, my visionary lines. And let me show you something that you'll never see anywhere else. I'm going to show you the weekly chart. I want to explain why this is so negative, this drop. Yes, it might recover, but here's my point here. Here's a weekly chart. Now, notice how the price held above my uh, trigger RS line. Notice that on every week. Follow this? Follow me? Now, look at this. We break up higher, right? Only to pull back, right? We took out this high. We even closed above this high, okay, on heavy volume. And we pull back he strongly through this line. It didn't do that on all these other weeks. Do you, do you see that, what I'm saying? right and basically 87 cents the stock should have held that right I had my stop right at 88 and this went right through it okay so here's the 15 minute snapshot as soon as we broke as soon as we broke below my cross vision line of 96 cents look what happened right it just broke down um, there's a reason for this that one dollar area first of all I hate stocks below a, a dollar and this one didn't even prove itself. I thought, okay, maybe it's going to get a breakout and, and go forward. But you know, that's the you know, you take. A, I took a small risk, but I give up. I gave up right away, and I actually put a stop. I wanted to put. You know what? My 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 original stop was it should have been. Um, I I should have kept it at um, 97 cents. I gave it a little bit more room, right? Because I knew one dollar is the key. One dollar is the key. Anyways, uh, so there's the. Let me show you again the weekly view. See how we crack through? See that line you see here? We crack right through it, 87 cents. So what that means is that's a resistance now on the weekly chart. So if it, even if it recovers, as this stays below one, that's negative. And most likely this will just try to recover, snatch a few, uh, you know, uh, uh, other, um, you know, people that are not very, um, they don't understand. Look at this. Just understand this here. Look at this line here, okay? It's negative. Follow me for more great advice, and if you don't want to take my advice, it's fine, but this stock's going to chop and do nothing. It's dead money. Um, STI. I want to explain this stock quickly. STI was a stock uh, that I talked about, and, or I planned it was on this day here, and basically, um, I got in around, I bought uh, 34 um, in the money calls uh, of December. And on this day, they moved 80%. Okay, that's like um, ROX uh, moving to $2 a share. I did that already. In other words, I made my my double, you know, and um, and I did it with options. So if you want to follow me and learn something, I did this for the, for the RX, ROX board as I I had my doubts with it, but I took a small risk with ROX. I figured, you know, maybe this thing will will surprise and do well. But it failed. It, it did exactly what I said it would. When when it failed to hold above one and I put warnings on the board, it's just proving my expertise and analysis. It just proves it without a shadow of a doubt. Um, ROX. And again, one of my rules is I hate stocks that are under a dollar because they're the most, uh, you know, th that's, it's just, the, 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 anything that trades above a dollar has a good pattern. They have higher probability to succeed. You can, you can make good money with these, but I, I can do the same thing like, with an options and, I, and, and trade stocks that really have, uh, like, like STI. Look at STI. Can you imagine you had, this stock's a 35, well, at the time it was 34. $34 a share stock, but you, what you do is you buy options, okay? And I was able to buy a 34 in the money call for about a buck 22 each, 122, and you're controlling 100 shares, right? And believe me when I tell you, I mean, you have to do the research to check out the option prices, but those options are up at least 80% even at this point here. If you look for my video on this, I actually made a video showing uh, what the option prices are, and you can do the research if you want to learn and grow. I'm, I decided to do this to see if there's any, you know, anybody I could help on the ROX board because it's it's that stock there is 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 a garbage. 
you know until it starts really trading about a dollar you 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 you're just stuck in dead money so i wouldn't if I were you i wouldn't be plumping in more money in that and believe people that it's just going to bounce whatever bounce is going to be it's going to be weak and it it failed big time uh, rox and this is what I, I just want to do this video to show my analysis skills here i mean look at that think about what i just said here it held this line and today we crack below it and don't forget the stock broke out to in, above one for the first time Ho not holding that and then falling this much in a day it's negative thanks for listening like the video